Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Dylan D. Welcome back to the channel and it's time for another video. Uh, today's video is pretty special. We have a four directional flying machine. Uh, there's no updating or having to replace blocks, break them or anything like that, uh, move things around. No, it is completely independent and you can power it all with just this redstone torch. Uh, it's actually super simple. Um, and when you come in this direction, you can literally pick whichever side you want to go. Uh, let's just go uh, this way first, uh, in which you'll stare at the middle of this observer on the side, and then you'll place a redstone torch and break it right away. If you do it right, it will go off. If you don't do it right, um, then the machine will just kind of stay there, and you can try again. <laughs> uh, it's pretty hard to break it, which is really nice as well. Uh, but yeah, once you're satisfied with that direction, you can just place a uh, redstone torch on the slime block in front of you, either there, 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 or right here, and it will stop the machine in its tracks. Uh, next up, let's go this direction. Same thing. <clears throat> Excuse me, same thing. All you do is just place that torch and then break it real fast. Uh, but then, yeah, satisfied going that way. Oh, there we go. As you can tell, sometimes it doesn't work, but that's all right. It's hard to break. Go this way. Good to go there. And then, of course, direction. Yeah, and it's all just coming with. Uh, but, of course, um, with the machine, you can stop it and then continue going that same direction if you wanted to as well. Uh, there's no set patterns, nothing like that. Um, Strictly independent uh, flying machine. But yeah, as far as that's. Oh, and if you have one of these uh, situations happening, I'm actually kind of glad that happened. Um, if you have one of those situations happen, very easy. Um, you don't have to do anything with it. <laughs> Just go ahead in whichever direction you're going to want to go. Uh, go back this direction. As soon as you start moving again, it'll get rid of that for you. Good to go. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, as far as that's. Um, Obviously, after I built the machine, I went onto YouTube and I was seeing there was like, there had to have been like a design just like it, right? And there was only one, only one design. I was shocked, and it's by um, Firewolf Quasar. Um, definitely check them out. Not sure if they're uploading too much anymore, but no, it was, it was pretty cool. Um, it's funny because it's so close to my design here. So, so close. But they have, um, one of the updaters is like on the bottom. Mine's are... are both on the top of it, just obviously to avoid these sticky pistons for when it pushes to one side and not pushing out the overall build. Uh, but no, as far as that, uh, my design here is one block less overall design. It's just a uh, slime block in the middle that was able to uh, take out just by obviously putting the uh, pistons this close together. Observer on the top. Uh, yeah, as far as that, uh, no buttons needed, nothing like that. You literally just need a redstone torch. Um, so yeah, no, as far as that, um, I feel like this design is definitely the best. This is going to be the best that it's going to get as far as a four-way directional flying machine. Now, I am working on expanding this as well. Uh, it's definitely possible. So possible. Um, and quick uh, side note, of course, um, how you would have to do that, uh, make it possible, because all these pieces here are at their 12-block push limit, all the ones on the outside anyway. Uh, the one in the middle, though, definitely not. We can make a, a ton of different little mini modules in the center, car, kind of like how the RMC team did their four-directional flying machine. It's like this massive four-directional flying fortress. It's able to like shoot weapons and stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, but my only issue with that machine there is that you have to move around um, to stop it from, um, or to start it up from different angles and like reset it and whatnot. I'm definitely gonna be trying to just expand this. Uh, definitely, I mean, it's totally doable as well, so yeah. No, as far as that's, um, let's just go ahead and jump into the tutorial. All right, so for this build, you will need 13 observer, 26 slime block, 8 sticky piston, 8 regular piston, and 1 redstone torch to pilot it. Of course, if you're in survival, obviously it wouldn't hurt to bring more. Uh, but yeah, once you have all that, you are ready to start building this machine. All right, so once you have your materials all nice and lined up and you're ready to start building, you want to start with one slime block. Uh, honestly, all you really need is one block of clearance from the ground, but this really just depends on where you are trying to fly it at. <laughs> uh, you definitely want to set it um, wherever in the air uh, that's, you know, most going to benefit you. Uh, but for this build here, um, if you're in a super flat world, you only need one block of clearance underneath. 
Uh, but yeah, from here you want a second slime block on top of it, uh, and then we're going to place an observer facing straight down into that slime block. You should be looking at something that looks like this. Next up, uh, we're going to grab our sticky pistons, and then we want um, all of the ones on the top slime block to face outwards. And then we're going to place four more, and these are going to be facing into the slime block on the bottom of all of those other sticky pistons. Uh, so yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. So you should be looking at something that looks like this. Again, these are sticky pistons. Uh, you want to grab your slime blocks and then place four coming up out of each of these. Awesome. Uh, once you have um, this type of shape, we're going to go ahead and pick a side here. Um, doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put two blocks down just like so. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. But before we go over there, um, place a piston on this side. I'm going to place another piston right here. And then on we did it for this side, so what we want to do is now do that same thing for this side. So we'll grab our slime blocks, place one here, and place one there, and then we can grab our pistons again. Place in one right there, and we'll come up this way and place one more right there. Perfect. So you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this. Grabbing slime blocks, we'll place two right here. We can grab our pistons again, placing one here and then another one right there. Slime blocks one last time. Go ahead and place two just like so. You want your pistons, one there and there. Next up we can start placing our observers in the build. Uh, we'll need a temporary block right here. We'll come around this way so we can face these observers directly into the slime blocks. Then we can get rid of your temporary block. Uh, next up we'll come back this way. Temporary block right here. And then facing this direction, we'll place a block, uh, an observer right there, and then one right there, and we can remove that middle temporary block. Awesome. Uh, almost there. We'll go ahead and place an observer here facing that way. Same with that one so they can power these pistons. And, of course, we will also put an observer here and then an observer right there to power the same pistons on the opposite side. And then the last observer uh, placement is on the bottom. You want to go ahead and place a temporary block right there. And then you can place a observer facing into this slime block like so. That for all four sides. All right, awesome. Now once you have this, you're ready to go. Um, it's actually that simple. Um, what you'll do is you come down into uh, your machine from the top or however you decide to get in there. Um, but yeah, as far as that, um, this is like kind of our frame of reference <laughs> that I've been using. It just looks so crazy. That's from our last video there. Um, but yeah, no, as far as that, um, we'll try to fly a little bit closer to it just by going this way. And um, then again, of course, as you saw, you just place a torch and then remove it right away. And then to stop it, you just place a redstone torch against that uh, slime block right in front of you. And it's going to go ahead and stop it. As you can see, the machine will stay exactly how it is. Uh, now we want to go this way to go around it. All right, I think that's enough room. Place that redstone torch so it'll stop. And as you can see there, you get your redstone torch back like every time. So in survival, honestly, it seems as if you could literally just have one redstone torch the entire way and be good to go. Go this way, moving around it here. that's going to do it for today's video you guys i really hope you all enjoyed it uh, as far as that as well don't forget to check the description for the world download and of course the links uh, to firewolf quasar's channel and the rmc team um, i know that they haven't been uploading for quite a while but honestly they have some sweet sweet tech uh, that definitely deserves to look over uh, so definitely go check them out um, and of course if you do have um, anything else to add there um, want to see any type of other um, type of videos stuff like that definitely let me know down in the comments uh, a big question as well is um you know who would like to see a survival with d reboot
<laughs> uh, I'll probably end up doing it anyway, uh, but I just want to see who, of course, um, would be down to see more Survival with D. Um, yeah, you know, times have changed. I've come a long way since, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, putting Depth Strider 3 on a, uh, on a helmet. Depth Strider 3 on your helmet would really help. You'll need an enchanted helmet. Uh, Depth Strider 3 is just uh, for speed in the water. I've come a long way. Let's, let's just say that. So <laughs> as far as that, you guys, um, definitely, uh, if you did find yourself experiencing some sort of joy while watching today's channel, definitely don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Um, I will be here. Uh, there's another video coming real soon, so definitely look forward to that. Uh, but yeah, no, as far as that, until the next video, you guys, later late.